Hello guys, it's Dima from Dimax Studio, and today in bit four of Photoshop, we are working on this image today, and our focus is on how to pop these stones or this image on our camera roll. Okay, this was shot. You can see this was shot with the, the Nikon three thousand two hundred, and for those of you that are interested, the camera is actually up for sale because I'm looking to get another gadget. So I intend to sell this camera and then um, you can see it has a very high quality megapixel. Actually it's 24 megapixel, low budget camera. So for those of us that um, don't have much, can actually for this camera, I recommend this camera in day and then it's one of my startup camera. And it has always given me amazing results even up till now. So it's a Google if you are interested, just hit me up on my DM, Instagram, Facebook, and any platform that you know I'm on, you can hit me up the WhatsApp and I'll respond to you ASAP. Okay, straight to the video. And then um, if you're new to my channel, please, I beg you, as much as possible, as we try to create a lot of content to help everyone out there, we need your support, we need your love. And um, so far, we've been getting so much of that. So grateful for all of your support. Do also like, do also comment on this video. And um, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification. Because it helps us to create more content for you out there. Okay, all right, straight to the video. Today I'm going to be working on this, and I want to see that this image pops. So that when I get into Photoshop, I get to see a, a blended image that I don't get to do much anymore. So it's easier for me to grade after my retouching. So the first thing I'll go is I want to open my image on my camera raw, and I'm using the camera raw 12.4, and then um, I would go to my profile now and i want to see my profiles my different profile so it was shot on the adobe color and we have monochrome we have several um profiles here i would i can actually go through them if you go to adobe portrait you get to see this still flat feel and then um, standard still having this flat feel and we go to be like okay we're having a lot of contrast and a little pop in the image but it is not what i want for today's video so i would Go to what I want, and what I want for this video is my my Adobe landscape. Now, if you've noticed from where we were to where we are right now, is Adobe Color and Adobe Landscape. You get to see this pop and these um, tones that are being added to our image. So, for this image, it is working magic for us. The Adobe Landscape. So, I'm going to go. I'm going to close this. I'll go back since I picked my landscape. I'll come over to my temperature. Okay, these tones are kind of, I'm having a lot of magenta and a whole lot of um, um, cool feel. I would want to get it. I want this to be warm, so I'll just move this all the way up a little bit. And then I'll move this down a little bit, right? So let's just see before and after. Just click on P, this is before, after. So if you want to check it before and after on your camera roll, you just, on your keyboard, you just click on P, take you before, Hit P again, takes you back. So you can also just do it here and double it on again. So this is already amazing. So you can see from where we were to where we are right now, there is a drastic change, a color pop in our image, which is pretty amazing. So when we get to grade, we already have this blended skin tone and it will be easier for us to work on it. So I'm just going to tweet um, some of my basic settings here. I just want to use a little bit of my highlight. I don't want my highlight hash and also my my white. Then I'll take up a little bit of my shadows and a little bit of my blacks. You can take the white up a little bit to you to bring review that that highlight, right? I just want my skin to blend out. At the end of the day, when I think my touching, I can do uh, my my dodge and bone and then do my grid i'll still get all of this back but i just want a blended image before i start retouching so i would also go to my texture i want to increase my texture at least to then i love textures on my image and then i'll go over to my clarity i'll increase this to about seven i think seven is fine let's just look at the image and if you if you have noticed just as much as it's a low budget camera, it still gives us that very good depth and texture on our image, strong image. So if you're interested, you can just hit my DM and the camera will be all yours.
okay so um the next thing i'm just going to do is i'm just go over to my my um cough my color mixer then i'll go over to my hsl this hsl saturation means huge saturation luminance huge is for me i would always say that huge is your your color variation saturation is your color boost and your luminance is your your color brightness so um, basically we know that the skin comprises of red and and orange so if i were to work on this skin i would basically want to if I work on this skin, I basically want to touch, look at this, so it affects the skin and to any other aspect of the skin where I reduce this, you get to see. So basically, I will want to go over to my luminance. I want to use the light on my skin to have that thick magenta feel on my skin. Okay, I'm, I'm having too much magenta, so I will just increase this a little bit. And I think I'm good. So voila, this is this this is amazing. This is our before and this is after. So if if you're looking to blend your image right in camera, this is one quick way to do that. For those of us that might like exposing image, you can just as well just take this up a little bit. And then we are done. So this is how you can boost your image, your colors, your skin, how to blend your skin in your camera. If this tutorial was of great help to you, please do well to like this video. Don't forget to comment. Make a point of duty that each time you get to see our videos, please just drop a like button for us and drop a comment for us. And um, also subscribe. Many a times you watch and then we don't subscribe. This um, All of this helps the channel to grow, helps to encourage us to do more of this tutorial and put a whole lot of content out there. And it also shows that we are accepted by the public. And we can keep creating so thank you so much for watching this video thank you for staying tuned thank you for allowing us to be of great impact to your life and until we see you again keep creating